you know, it's pretty cool that you can see the like club entrance down there. You have everybody trying to get in. And you have like the the giant uh, Elcor, I guess bodyguards. Is that or or uh, or bouncers? Is that Elcor bouncers, or are they just waiting to get in too? <laughs> Excitedly, my name is on the list. <laughs> At least that's what I assume. I don't know where that goes. So some elevator. I guess it goes down. Hey, we can, let's check the map. Let's check the map. I don't remember what goes on here. So we have the VIP entrance. I am a VIP after all. Um, we have two, three. So Ari is here. Uh, James is over here and there's an officer. <clears throat> and then dance floor. So let's go this way. Let's check out the VIP area first. And then I'll go downstairs and see what those Elcor are up to. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Oh. No, the new regs applies the whole citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid. I'll give you a bigger light show. Okay. Can I can I check that out? So, this was uh to do improved power grid. A technical or a technician at Purgatory of the on the citadel needs an improved power grid to keep things running. Find schematics for a new power grid and deliver them. Okay. Wait, what was this? Banner of the First Regiment. Turian artifact was recovered from Castilius in the Apian Crest. Find someone on the Citadel who can use it. Okay. I may have to dig into that one and see what's going on with it. Oh, this place is cool. Look at that. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. Poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 <laughs> okay. Odd light because it's it's it looks like it's supposed to be projected on the ground, but it is definitely not. Immersion broken. That's all I'm saying. By the way, I've got like a bit of a stomach bug. So today's episode might be a little shorter. Not feeling super hot. Got like a upset tum tum. Interesting. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there, and, um... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah, we were going to, uh, have a guy's night. Is, is that what I think it is? A guy's night or a guy's night? Um, let's take a look. Either way, whatever. They can, they can have whatever night they want. It's, <clears throat> it's purgatory. <laughs> It's a funny name for a, uh, a club, but it, I guess it makes sense. All right, let's talk to Arya first, and then we'll go talk to them. It's it's funny thinking about the influences of all of the other games that come before and after this. Because, like, the person for the power grid schematic, that was a very Dragon Age Inquisition thing. So, obviously, Inquisition was, um, you know, the, the game design there, or whoever designed that kind of dialogue was definitely... Um, involved with dragon age because in inquisition you would like go to one of the camps and the person would be like oh we we need bear furs because we love bears can you get them for us inquisitor and you're like sure whatever and then sure enough then you have a side quest to go kill eight bears <laughs> that's just it, so it was basically the same way of doing illegally. it yes and it only took c-sec three weeks to figure it out I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. So, Arya has the, show the counselor in her pocket. I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top 
of my shit list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. That's a good point, yeah. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Suns leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <clears throat> You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. I mean, it's worth it if they're willing to fight the Reapers. <laughs> um, all right, so we just got a bunch of journal updates. So let's go here. Do, 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 do. So these are both of our like main missions. We got that Cerberus lab. We have Leviathan stuff that we could go do. Um, and then we have the three Aria things now. All right, that's fine. Is anybody else? I know. I know. I said uh, what? James was here. There's also an officer. Where is James? I'm like half expecting random people to just start talking and give me side quests now. Now that I realize, oh, it's exactly like Inquisition. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Beg your pardon? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Jeez, Just bro. Say it, but I know you're human. Just like me. But not then. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damned few. Almost missed it. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Shepard. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. You know what I find interesting? <laughs> <laughs> to, to go back on our Dragon Age Inquisition parallels, um, it's, I mean, obviously, it's the same voice actor doing James and Iron Bull, but in, <laughs> and, you know, to be fair, I think, I think the voice acting is different from each other, right? So let me just get that out of the way. I don't think, I don't think they're too similar. And I think Freddie Prince Jr. does a, just a standard 
job across the board with all of his stuff that he's been doing lately. So I'm not, you know, this isn't a criticism of him, but it is a criticism of the writers because Iron Bowl almost has the exact same scene in Inquisition where like, he's like, Hey, here's these soldiers, you know, you should come hang out with us. And he, he has that moment where he uh, humanizes the, and I don't mean it like in a, he's making them more human. He's, you know, he's making more uh, relatable to the soldiers, right? Depending on what inquisitor you're, you're playing as, whether you're an elf or a uh, canary or, or a human, it was one of those really cool moments in inquisition, but I didn't realize it was already here to begin with, <laughs> with the exact same voice actor. Maybe he was like, hey, we should do the same thing. Actually, it's not a bad idea, to be honest, because it's a good little scene. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of Commander Shepard? I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Cool. Hey, you know what? That's really cool. <laughs> the banner of the 1st Regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. I, I didn't realize I was going to come across them right away. Um, is there anything else on this map? Four. I can check the dance floor. I think um, the dance floor only exists for certain uh, romances. I don't think there's actually anything I can do here other than just kind of examine and kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Man, my brain is not working tonight. Um, admire the, the amount of detail that they put into this place. It is pretty cool. It's no Omega, but I mean, if you, if you just made second Omega, then you would be like, well, why does, why does Arya want to go back to Omega? She's got better Omega here, you know, and that's not, that's not a great spot for storytelling or game design. So you kind of want to make it lesser than, and I think they do a good job. Please select a destination. Let's go to, uh, the hospital to go talk One to moment, what's his butt. Alenko. I think, um, now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but no, you don't understand. This isn't for according to the Listen, I am a surgeon at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need. No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Okay, well, another um, <clears throat> journal. Wow, we're just picking up all sorts of stuff, aren't we? Uh, do, do, do. So a doctor on the Citadel needs a new Metagel formula created specifically for aliens. Find a new formula and deliver it to her at Huerta Memorial Hospital. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna support the reception. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Yeah, Karen. Welcome to Santa. Uh, capacity. Let's go ahead and purchase that. We got a uh, donation of credits there, so that'll help out a little bit. Um, I like having the med gel capacity go up, but what I was going to say coming into the hospital was that this is probably the thing I've been looking forward to the most coming into today's episode because, again, I haven't seen any of this. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. <laughs> I was expecting a mission. Actually, hold on. Do I already have one? I, I had a Grissom Academy one, did I not? Oh, it's an investigation. 
Eh, maybe, maybe I'll actually pick something up and be able to bring it back. I'd like here. an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. <laughs> Udina. Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. Nobody's cleaned no up problem. your face yet, bro. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? Oh, it was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I mean, Doc... Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little... rattled. So Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. You asked I'm here. Good to see you're okay. Thanks. Is that really the only reason you wanted me to come by? After Mars and after doubting you. I just wanted to make sure that we're okay. Clear the air. Caden, we've been through rough missions together. Had each other's backs. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? You and me. We can butt heads. But for now, yeah. We're good. I'll take that. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Major. This war needs you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. It, it is really cool to jump into a game that I've spent so much time in and seeing content that's new for the first time. It's, um, it, when, it, when it comes to RPGs, it's a bit of a novelty <laughs> because RPGs did, a, I don't know, I guess I would call it bottlenecking for, I don't know, the last decade and a half where they realized they needed to be bigger and have all of these cool choices and you know, Bioware really spearheaded some of that. And the process of doing that made it so things got a bit homogenized. You had all these choices, but just like at the end of Mass Effect 3, it all kind of just comes together as the same thing. You know, your, your choices don't really drastically change the way that the game ends. Whereas a game like, um, I don't know, I, I guess a good example would be a game like Baldur's Gate 3, uh, so far from what we've seen, and there's a new patch coming up for the game. It's not even out yet. It's still in its uh, early access. That game does change significantly based on the, the choices that you make. And this is a, a thing with those types of games. Those like CRPGs like Divinity and like uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is starting to open that up quite a bit because they realize that the the homogenization of choices actually led to players not feeling like they really like their choices really mattered and when it comes to mass effect 3 and a dragon age inquisition and mass effect andromeda anthem you know those games from bioware they definitely suffered from that so here's to the new generation of rpgs that try to break that open a bit we've had some standout successes of games that have uh you know, uh, opened up their choices and, and the way that things are affected by that. So hopefully, you know, the next series of Bioware games are all affected by those uh, successes. So we've got a couple things here. So we have the Metagel formula, which I don't have. We have the AMP interfaces, which I don't have, and the improved power grid, which I don't have. But outside of that, those are the only Citadel things that we have. So now, I well, actually, I guess... Okay, so I need to go to the Presidium Commons to speak about that, the refugee camp to speak to the Blue Suns, and uh, the embassies to speak to Bailey. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head probably to the embassies first, go speak to Bailey. <laughs> 